Have you been wondering how frightening the future is going to be post-singularity? Well, a new pro-transhumanism TV show hopes to sell you on the idea of a world filled with robots. Almost Human takes place in 2048 LA where detectives are forced to partner with synthetic combat ready androids. The droids have a strictly rule based sense of reason which is of course a trait that's perfect for combat and controlling the useless herd. But after their strict robo logic botches a raid, Detective John Kennix destroys his partner and is reassigned to Dorian. Dorian is a different kind of robot, an older model that was decommissioned when their human-like qualities began to interfere with their purpose. And since Dorian is such a likable robot, it forces the audience to consider what does it really mean to be human? I can't say that I was born, but I was made to feel. And I do, as much as you. Don't think a robot with human-like qualities is possible? Well, Google futurist Ray Kurzweil says this is probably going to happen before the end of the century. We're going to become increasingly non-biological to the point where the non-biological part predominates and the biological part is not that important anymore. In fact, the non-biological part, the machine part, will be so powerful it can completely model and understand the biological part. So even if that biological part went away, it wouldn't make any difference because the, the non-biological part already understood it completely. Kurzweil also predicts that humans will be uploading their brains to computers by 2045. However, when Kurzweil talks about we, he's not talking about you or I, he's talking about the 1%. He admits in his book such technology will not be available to the general public and instead will be controlled by a technocratic elite who will attempt to become super beings by merging with machines. This dystopic future will see the mass of humanity trapped in their limited organic bodies while the elite will become vastly more intelligent due to cybernetic brain interface upgrades. People involved in unskilled labor will become unnecessary when their jobs are replaced by machines, inevitably leading to the mass of humanity being seen as worthless parasites by the elite who will either prevent them from reproducing via mass sterilization programs or simply slaughter them outright. You think your job is safe? Well they're even replacing your everyday sign spinner with robotic mannequins. But you still don't think the elite are planning to cull the useless herd. Well, in addition to forced vaccinations and GMOs destroying second and third generations, schools are now teaching population reduction as a way to save the planet. We reported in March on the Chinese eugenics factory that collects genius DNA to breed enhanced people. While Americans show some reservations with playing God, According to one of the geniuses selected for the program, the Chinese are all about breeding superior humans. And Google just announced Calico, a new company whose ultimate purpose is to radically extend the human lifespan. For those who can afford it, of course. Reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo.